Hey everyone, Krista here, and today I'm gonna take you on a tour of beautiful Jenny Springs located in High Springs, Florida. If you're looking to get away for the day or even the weekend, this is a great location and I'm gonna go over all of the details. So let's get into it. Jenny Springs is a privately owned spring located in High Springs, Florida, about two and a half hours north of Orlando. Jenny Springs boasts seven natural springs and you can do everything here from kayaking, tubing, snorkeling, diving, and camping. We visited on a beautiful Saturday morning and got there in the morning just before noon. Since Jenny Springs is a privately owned spring, the price to enter the spring is a bit higher than your typical spring that's run by Florida State Parks. At the time of filming, the cost of entering Jenny Springs was $15 per person per day during the off season and $20 per person per day during the peak season. When you do arrive at Jenny Springs, you'll be directed to head over to the country store to pay your general entry fee, sign a waiver, and then get your parking tag. If you are planning on renting anything else, this is also where you would rent your equipment and gear. They do rent everything here from inner tubes, snorkeling gear, and kayaks. So I definitely wanted to get out in the water, so we made sure to grab a double kayak while we were here. If you are renting a kayak, they do give you the paddles, life jackets, and a numbered key to unlock your assigned kayak once you get down to the spring. The parking at the general store is only about 15 minutes, so you'll wanna make sure to move your vehicle after you finish checking in. When we got our paddles and life jackets, we made our way down to Ginny Spring where the kayaks were located. One thing I do want you to know is that they don't have anyone here to help you launch. So you will have to unlock your kayaks yourself and then bring them down to the water and launch yourselves. It was a little tricky to get into the kayak if you didn't want to get your shoes wet. So I highly recommend wearing some water shoes or shoes that you just don't mind getting wet or maybe even just no shoes at all. For our kayaking run, we decided to go upstream first a ways past the Devil Spring system to see if there was anything interesting along the waterway. And I just loved how you were able to camp all the way up to the waterfront. By the way, if you are finding this information helpful, I would love it if you could hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to discover more places like this throughout my beautiful state of Florida. I release a new video every week and the best way to be able to see them is by subscribing. Like I said earlier, Ginny Springs is made up of seven different little springs. And as we made our way back down the river, we wanted to make sure to check out each and every single one of them while we were here. Starting with the Devil Spring System. The Devil Spring System is home to three separate springs, which includes Devil's Eye, Devil's Ear, and the Devil Spring, which is a four foot wide fracture at the head of the spring system. It's also 50 feet long and almost just as deep. The Devil Spring System is a popular place for divers and features magnificent caves within the system. Only certified cave divers are allowed to enter the water with cave lights. This helps prevent any inexperienced divers from attempting the caves. But if you are an experienced cave diver, this is one system that you'll definitely want to see. Once we were finished with the Devil Spring system, we made our way down to Dogwood Spring. Dogwood Spring was a bit of a smaller spring with a cavity at the east end of the pool. The water in these springs are beautiful and it was really nice and peaceful once you were able to catch one with no one in it. It was also really cool to see the transition in the water from the brackish water to the clear blue waters of the spring. After Dogwood Spring, we started making our way down to Twin Spring. But on our way to Twin Spring, we came across a little spring on the other side of the river called Sawdust Spring. 
I actually had to look up the name of this spring when we got home because it wasn't on the map that was given to us by Jenny's spring, and we're really glad that we were able to come across it. This spring was a little shallower and a lot smaller than any of the other springs, but it was still a beautiful little escape from the Santa Fe River. It's really cool because you can actually see like the bubbles coming up from where the spring head um, is located. So that's like one of the, the great ways of being able to know like exactly where the spring head is. I'm trying to show you this spring head, which is amazing. Look at that. Afterwards, we made our way down to Twin Spring, which is also the tube run exit if you do decide to tube down the Santa Fe River. I also want to mention that each one of the springs here have easy access by these stairs if you do want to get into the water by land. And just past Twin Spring is Deer Spring which ended up being one of my favorite ones of the day because it was the one that we were able to hang out in the longest by ourselves with no other people with us. So if you are looking to capture one of the springs on your own, this is definitely one that you might wanna try since it's the furthest one away from the main spring. The spring here is absolutely beautiful. It's like this uh, really dark, deep crevice. It's, it's pretty amazing, but you can see it just right over my shoulder here. It's just, it's just beautiful. If you don't want to kayak down the river, you can always tube, paddleboard, or canoe through the area. You are also able to camp at Jenny Springs if you want to spend even more time here. There are over 250 acres that run along the Santa Fe River. They also offer cabins if you don't have a tent, camper, or RV of your own, which is a nice option. Exploring Jenny Springs is a beautiful way to spend the morning. When we got back to Jenny's Spring closer to noon, the spring was getting a little crowded. It definitely is a popular place to head to, even in the off season. So you may wanna get here early if you wanna get a chance to have the spring a little bit quieter and to yourself. We only got the kayak rental for three hours, so we made our way back over to Jenny Springs to put back our kayak and return our paddle boards and life jackets. If you do want to wash up after taking a dip into the spring waters, they also offer bathhouses all throughout the area. If you are looking for even more springs to experience, you'll definitely want to check out my video on Silver Spring that just popped up on the screen. Silver Spring is a beautiful crystal clear spring that offers an amazing kayaking run, their famous glass boats, as well as wild monkeys. Until next time, everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.